not the biggest fan, but lane matchup against Celesh, it's not the worst. It's also not the best. I mean, you can probably get a lot of things done here. You can be really disruptive on the win range, the biggest loss for the LC. And again, you can always threaten with overwhelming odds. At level 3 with level 2 up, it's a pretty painful time up top. Yeah, top lane. Toronto Tokyo setting up first blood with the Oracle. Tofu going down. And of course, Pure. 27 and 8 on the LC. Bottom lane, speaking of, save. Going to be chased down now with the Firefly of Celery, but Pure is going to jump in onto Durachio. Durachio dropping low, needs to be careful. Ooh. Oh, he's gone. Save might go down, but you got the position one Slark. Enough damage for Pure right now. Like, he's holding onto about 1.1k HP. Oh, trying to sneak for the rune. Oh, they're going for the rune. Celery, trying to sneak in. Save is going to be there. Fortune's end to lock down the Batrider. The Celery is still charging towards it. He needs two more seconds. Celery, can he swipe it away? Not quite. Save does get it. Even onto a Slark. Like, it's not comfy for Duracho. Still at level four, about to hit five. Pure We're working try for again. six. Quinn is here this time. Pure surely goes down. Pure, though, fighting back with the overwhelming odds. And now Ooh. Toronto Tokyo with the hills out. Pure, he's running. He has made it. Pure it's is okay. out. Quinn's in trouble. Quinn is out of mana, but he is going to make it himself. The big threat. It's just brute as a hero. Nightfall being chased. Toronto Tokyo through the Twin Gates is around to save, but they might aim him instead. Though Celery. Celery finding out the hard way that Nightfall was ready to fight back. He's the opportunity top. Nightfall calls for him to come in to bait out that Bat Rider trying to sneak around. They find Quinn. punishment. Oh. Focus fire. Quinn. Quinn is down. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, you just said it, Toronto, Tokyo. Like, the movement from this Oracle. It is very rare that you will find this much impact at 10 minutes in by an Oracle. Toronto Slark does want top. a fast ramp up. You know, he wants to start to get aggressive with, say, a quick Echo Saber Axe timing. Oh, Ace. Ball, they purge off the Surge. Ace is not going to make it out, I don't think. Plenty of control. And Nightfall. He'll pick up his second kill now as the Broodmother. I think Jonathan, obviously, 70% is not a low number. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Lycan, Lycan has a lot as well. Hold on. Here we go. Shackle, oh, perfect from God. GPK, landing on two. Celery will be the target. Immediately bursted down. Meanwhile, Jewel on the backside has found out Ace. And that'll be the first Jewel victory for Pure. And they need to find a back line. Good lane. They catch out Celery once again on the bat. He's going to try to run, but no chance. Pure just pops the blade mail through the Firefly to make sure they get the job done. Not risking it. Not with the blade mail up on Pure. Way, way too dangerous. As the Radiant Triangle now, Tofu trying to intervene. Will get taken up by Toronto Tokyo, who picks up his fourth kill of the game now on the Oracle. Infections in Australia, Mike. All right, now they need to figure out how to save Quinn, John. Quinn is in huge trouble. Look at this. Quinn is deleted. Oh Celery TPing in to try and help, but he might just be another sacrifice to the Spider Gods. Nightfall instead wants Tofu. Nightfall not feeling like meat today. We'll take down the techies. Bet Boom, they'll know exactly the, where they are now with the pulse nova on the creep wave. So Bet Boom gonna start to move in. A bait here by GPK though. No, he's caught. Lasso was there. He's Whoa. still alive. Now the jewel out. They've caught Ace with that jewel. They're trying to win it though. And Pure's down. Ace will win the jewel in the darks here. Meanwhile, Nightfall will deal with Tofu. The game and they won't be too upset with these trades as well. Hold on a minute, GPK. Two-man shackle, Quinn getting pretty low. Durachi are going to jump back in, needs to pounce out with the Shadow Dance. And we'll make it for now, but Nightfall, he's on the chase. Durachio, he's all right. Sneak around here for Ace. Yeah, Ace needs to find a way out of this one. Surge is there. He's still just being chased down by Nightfall, who had the Harpoon, did use it already. We'll still chase. Rod of Atos is out on Celery now, but they want Ace first. A double shackle from GPK holding both of them down. This Wind Ranger. GPK, he is hitting every shackle. Um, Gaiman, no in you're out of this game yet. They'll find Toronto down a bot lane. GPK will be there to try and help out. Focus fire gets started. Toronto, he's still alive. He'll get the false promise in time. Now the Blake near lockdown from GPK, who has a double damage ring going. Garaccio, he can't survive it. The duel will be there in time. Pure, he'll win. And now the shackle from GPK. Landing on two again. Oh, it's just a... Oh, it's just such a one-way street. GPK. Ultra kill for the Wind Ranger! Nightfall. 
Still the big, big problem. Celery going to try and go. Jewel is out. They've oh. got the Raccio. They've got the Slark locked down with the Jewel and they've got the victory to boot. Pure with zero hesitation and now the Shackle. GPK! GPK! He's been in his math classes, John. He's finding all the angles here. It's Nightfall. Hands up. Ace trying to run. Harpoon is up. Come <laughs> right back to Mother. Ace, he's all right. The Glaipnir will not be there in time. Minus, minus five? Minus point five BAT? Point four five, five. Yeah. okay. That, it's, that's so dumb. <laughs> you might be asking the same question now, John. Oh. Queen gets caught. Not gonna be enough damage. GPK in the meantime apparently just kills Celery. It's Pure, still chasing. A little bit upsetting for Pure because he couldn't catch Quinn while Pulse Nova was still ongoing. Jonathan. But the mid racks, or rather bot racks, is still going down. Nightfall not backing off yet. Quinn trying to move in. A big press the attack, or rather overwhelming odds from Pure as Quinn still trying. Oh, he's locked down now. Still the Death depth round will save him as Nightfall is still going. False promise gonna save. Duraccio trying to get out of this. He's gonna make it. So hard though, because like, if Save and Toronto are still alive, Nightfall knows he can't die, and GD's called. 24 and a half minutes in, Bet Boom will take game one. I don't know if you can call this a complete outdraw from Bet Boom. I think it was just a complete outplay from Bet Boom, because they, they just looked incredible. I think it's a mix of both. They had a much stronger draft for this early tempo, but they certainly.